As you can see, we, we cleaned the top clean, but that's the that's the dirty side. It's the bottom. So now we got to finish working on getting this nut backed off and and getting this uh what the plunger cylinder goes to. This piece right here. Get it get it out of the way. We'll get some more stuff off, and I'll 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 film some of it. Well, we got that piece off. It's trashed. There's my cutting ring. It's not too bad. It needs to be turned, but it's not too bad. This big old nut right here, it's giving me a little bit of fit. Somebody at the factory decided to weld both sides of those. So now we're gonna get a grinder and grind the welds off. the hammer and I got that broke loose. Oh, broke loose back here too. Okay. Alright, we're taking a strap. We went over the top of the had to do i've got strap around that pulling up holding tension going up around the second section of the boom i didn't think about it i found this great big ratchet it's a four inch wide ratchet on the side of the road the other day i thought huh then i went to northern tool and they had a strap for it and i thought hell one of these days i may need that well today's the day up the s tube and hooked on the back side of it and i'm hooked to the back of my bumper and it's i'm getting it all right, I got splines showing up. Just for me bouncing on it out there. I may need to let a little tension off of that one. Let's see. And I, I definitely got to change batteries in my GoPro. But anyway, we've got. Once we get that out, we're. I'm not saying we're there, but we're. <laughs> sound like John Madden. We're a lot closer than we were. So anyway, we change batteries and kind of assess where we're at now all right we got that out to there all right we got to pull that back uh bushing and stuff out and that ought to give us the clearance we need to get the bow which honestly that ought to give me enough room to to work with them i may not i may as far as i have to get it cut this off that's enough. see something must i'm thinking something may not have been oiling or greasing Again, 
show of good faith will suspend the implementation of a new round of tariffs tomorrow. Secretary of State Pompeo said clear negotiations with North Korea. Extreme poverty with no future and no hope. But you can bring hope when you become a compassion international sponsor. Just text the word here. With me cool we're gonna run the house get our parts came in ups showed up start putting this reassembling everything i am gonna cross my fingers that we can but i'm fully prepared to especially being by myself you know you gotta find ways to get you some helping hands uh, but i like a little bit of luck. We might, we might get a reassemble. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not saying, we'll see. So, see you in a minute. Well, we're pulling up over here. Good job. Bill's been on this truck for. I don't know. He had a two o'clock job in the morning. Then I needed to stay and work on that other truck. Uh, try to get it all tore down so the parts could get there. Uh, but anyway, we uh, try to see where to park. I'm gonna relieve Bill. He's been on this truck long enough. He needs to go home. So that's what I'm gonna do. I got the other truck tore apart. Got all the. I didn't get the parts changed out like I wanted to, but at least it's taken apart and it shouldn't take as long to put it back together. So we're gonna we're gonna finish pumping this job, let Bill go home, and we'll resume the uh, the rebuild on the other pump tomorrow. I'm wanting to get it done pretty quick. We got another cold front coming in this weekend. And so I, I really want to try to get it done before then. Because that boom's up in the, it's partially up in the air and there's just stuff that's not secured that I want secured. Uh, other than that, we're not going to be working for probably a couple of days because of that front. The temperature's going to be too cold. But anyway. That's the that's the kind of the rush now that I uh, that I have to get to get it finished. But anyway, well uh, we're gonna get our stuff gathered up, swap over to the other truck, and we'll be back in a minute. That's what we got left: porches, garage. So there's Bell's camera. We'll get to see what he got set up.
Little chunks of ice. That's probably, I don't know, three sixteenths. Maybe a quarter inch thick. It's falling off the boom up there. It's starting to get some sunshine on it. We had a uh, freezing drizzle this morning on the first job. And uh, it's just now starting to come off of there. So, not too much left here. Got the garage done. Still got the back porch, front porch. This is a pretty area up here. We're up here by Bowie, Texas. Real nice. You just see some deer and stuff out here, but anyway, we're gonna change batteries real quick. We need a battery. Talk to you in a minute. All right. Got a new battery changed in now. So it's a nice change of pace. I've been working on that truck for the last day and a half, most all day yesterday. And then this morning so it's nice to get back on the pump for a little while but when i get back it's we're back on the i'm thinking we're on the was it a downhill slide uh, usually putting it back together is a lot better a lot easier Every, you know you clean everything and it just goes back better than just when it's dirty so anyway um hope it won't take us three hours or four hours or so uh, get it back together so but we got some pretty rough weather coming this next week some colder temperatures i i really don't see us doing a lot the first couple of days of next week so which whether it's rain or cold weather it's a setback just because you're losing a couple of days that we had stuff scheduled uh, but anyway we'll uh, we'll get it taken care of we'll, before you know it, we're gonna be sweating and it's a lot of sunshine and wishing we had cooler temperatures, so better enjoy it while we got it. Anyway, we'll get up here and get things going. kind of weird to start pumping in the middle of a pour like this when you when you didn't start it uh, I don't know why it just seems like everything moves a little faster until you kind of get settled in after a few strokes or a few a few yards of going they left me some trash didn't they back in it now though there's two hills in here that are pretty rough this one's way back out there and this one over here i've tried to or the other way you can I mean, come in on the back side of them where you don't have to go up them or down them they're pretty daggum steep hoping next truck get here it ought to finish at least finish us up anyway we can get out of here and there's still some daylight left. We'll work on that truck a little bit more. But we'll hodge a minute. talk to you again thanks for watching and thanks for joining in we'll uh we'll pick it up probably tomorrow i guess but anyway thanks for watching talk to you later <laughs>